so that was Captain Beefheart playing the uh, floppy boot sump. And uh, you're listening to the John Peel Day here on BCFM with Stephen Ruth. And we've got a couple of guests in the studio today who have done um, a couple of sessions with John Peel. And that is Patrick Duff and Alex Lee from the former Strange Love, and they're now in a, their own guise. But so they're here today with us, and uh, welcome. Thank Hello. you. Hi. Hi. Thanks very much for coming. Um, it's really great to have you here today. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, pleasure Thank you. to be here. Good. And nice to hear Captain Beefheart on, on community it, radio. Isn't yeah. it great? I know, isn't he just the man? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to play some a couple of tracks for us, but you're going to start out with the first one. That's What's that one? Snakes, it's called. Snakes, yeah. okay. Great. Yeah, we did this at a John Peel session in 1992. Mm-hmm. So we thought we'd unearth it again for you now. Okay, great, good. Yeah, we haven't played it in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Place. 
This is a different place, different up here as music that laughs at your graves when we escape tumbling somewhere anywhere away from hopelessness made out of stones where people crawl inside and warm themselves on noise and electricity and songs that burn on the inside This is a different place This is a different place was really beautiful really lovely thanks for that so um you've come in to help us talk about john peel a bit and uh what are your memories what how did you first meet him um slightly accidental well slightly unintended was our meeting because we played in 1992 on the nme stage at glastonbury mm -hmm. um which was the second stage before then but that year they renamed it the nme stage and they got John Peel in to be the announcer right. on the stage. Yeah. We were one of the first bands on on the Sunday morning, was it? Yeah. And which in itself is sort of a struggle at a festival because this kind of idea that you're going to have, you know, a crazy Saturday night and everything is slightly sort of mm -hmm. you know, dampened by the notion you have to play at 11 o'clock the next morning or whatever it was. Yeah, God, that's early. <laughs> um, so we went on stage... Um, yeah, second stage, and the NME stage is about 11 o'clock, and John Peel then stood at the side and watched us. And as we finished and as we walked off, he kind of came over to us and said, I was going to introduce you, I'm here to do the announcements. <laughs> and um, so we sort of like blew that one, we kind of missed that opportunity to have him say, ladies and gentlemen, here, mm -hmm. you know, which would have been a real special thing. But um, as it was, I think he... I think he he really enjoyed what we did and he stood there and he watched the whole thing and he got really into it invited right. us to do a come and do a session which we went and did two days later oh, that's made a veil <laughs> um on the 30th of june that's um, very short notice was, isn't it which was patrick's birthday it was yeah great <laughs> how amazing so you had to hoof it up to london and yeah, to this amazing old kind of art deco building made a veil mm -hmm. with loads of long corridors in there and Mm. It's all crumbling and falling apart. A really amazing place to be. Is it? Yeah, I remember walking along the um, corridor because you have to. There's a lot of hanging around to do in music, as we all know. And um, I went off sort of exploring around Maida Vale, and um, I looked through one door, and there was like a hundred-piece orchestra with it sort of like oh. recording probably some very obscure Radio Three music, you know. Yeah. And I heard, I, I saw the guy tap his stick on the. Sort of, but whatever. Took the baton. On. Yeah. yeah, and then it just went. Whoa, it was the first time I'd ever heard a whole orchestra. It completely blew me away. Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, that sounds really great. And, and it is just this big labyrinthine sort of building where you can walk down corridors for miles yeah. mm -hmm. and get completely lost and have absolutely no idea where you are. So you will sort of stumble across little kind of amazing laboratories of music yes. that are like yeah. the kind of radiophonic mm. workshop and things yeah, like yeah. that. With and it almost feels as though there are people wandering around in white coats and right. sort of making sonic experiments. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds like being on another planet or something. It sounds really Yeah, it was great. Well, what was g great was that, it's, you know, the whole notion of the BBC and this it has this real sort of veneer of respectability and um, this real institution, but actually there was some quite sort of subversive stuff going on in mm. there because we were doing, you know, John Peel session, which we were actively encouraged to play our most 
sort of out there for right. another better word tracks and yeah. like Pad says the orchestra was probably making some sort of impenetrable avant-garde sort of late night Radio 3 stuff that sounds fabulous yeah. yeah and so it, it sort of had this sort of weird double edge to it being on the one hand being sort of very respectable but also being you know a pretty so, cool place to yeah, be yeah cutting music. edge and having stuff that's really different and that was I guess yeah. I suppose what John Peel represented within the BBC oh so very much sort of, yeah know, summed yeah. up quite accurately really. it's quite hard to kind of um imagine what it was like then for people these days because you know you didn't really get on the radio there was only like eight djs mm -hmm. that anyone knew in the whole world you know so mm. it was a and he was a bit like your granddad or something or, your, or a really nice old uncle but he was also yeah. like this untouchable sort of presence wasn't he yeah and to be there was amazing and, and these days when you can just all you got to do is you know be able to pick up a guitar and you're on youtube yes. it's really hard for people to understand what it meant to actually be going there yeah. and 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 to be part of it you know it yes, felt like absolutely. a big thing quite a privilege really. yeah definitely yeah did he yeah. sit in on your on your session no he doesn't there? sit in on no. them okay. no because right. there were sessions going on most you know most days of the week because he did a lot he put a lot of sessions out mm -hmm. so he obviously wouldn't have gone there right so okay. it almost added to this sort of status of being this sort of mythical mm. sort of slightly mm. mysterious like mm. whose presence was there but we, we no he wasn't there, there was I just remember writing him a note in felt tips like all different coloured felt tips. Dear John, thank you very much, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah. A long, rambling, kind of colourful... That we gave him with a dat tape that he had to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> and so you didn't actually meet him again on that. So you, you did your session, It went, the session got taken away, sort yeah, of yeah, up yeah. into the echelons of the BBC somewhere, and then, yeah. um, and then you were played. Yeah. But, but so you didn't actually do any kind of interview with him when you were... No. When no. he played you. I don't remember him really interviewing people that much on his show. Right. If, if, no, he didn't, if at no. all, he, t he tended to, to just play the music right. and would occasionally talk a bit about maybe how he found the band or something like that. Yeah. Long story. I think it was an amazing feeling when you heard his voice because you knew it from being 14 when you were supposed to be sort of tucked up in bed or whatever, yeah, but exactly. you were actually under the kind of covers with a radio to your ear and you knew his voice yeah. so well better than your own dad really in many ways it's so <laughs> funny everybody has that story don't they yeah, it seems yeah. like everyone talk when they talk about listening to john peel everyone of you know this certain generation kind of talk about being under yeah, the yeah. covers listening to him you just yeah well we had to go to that? bed early you yeah. know <laughs> we did <laughs> <laughs> yeah those were the days okay so what are we going to do next are we playing BCFM is the community radio station for Bristol and is here to give everybody in Bristol a voice. And you're listening to Stephen Roof on the BCFM show on BCFM Radio 93.2. It's John Peel Day. Our special guests, Patrick and Alex, will be back with us shortly to play another track live. In the meantime, we're going to play um, some David Bowie and have a listen to the voice at the end of this track. And uh, now we're back in the studio, we've got uh, Patrick Duff and Alex Lee playing for us live. Um, so, Patrick, <laughs> you, uh, you did your John Peel session back in 92, and then you did another one, didn't you? Yeah, we did, yeah. When did you do that? That was in 93. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, did you do that in the shed, or...? In the shed? Uh, yeah, in John Peel's shed in his house, at his home. No, Remember? no, that was at Maida Vale as okay, well. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's in the same place. Okay. Yeah. Good. And uh, what did you play there? Do you um, remember? So, oh, here we go, it's written down here. <laughs> A song called Quiet Day. Mm -hmm. uh, this song that we're, next, we're about to play now called All Because of You mm -hmm. was one of the ones that we did. Mm -hmm. And another couple of tracks, um, Walls was one of them. Mm -hmm. And the other one was called Frozen. This is... Uh, what should I speak in this is the one we did. Um, we had a slightly different lineup. Oh yeah. Because our guitarist, I think we got this one again at short notice, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our guitarist, Jazza, had just met this girl from LA, mm -hmm. and had fallen mm. hopelessly in love with her, and was spending every available spare moment with her. Yeah. Disappeared off. So we got an old mate, Angelo Braschini, um, who uh, came in to play second guitar for us. Because mm -hmm. basically, on a peel session, they liked you to play live. Right. They didn't like you to do many overdubs. It was fine to do the vocals again or, or something like that or, or to do um, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything extra special that you had, but basically we had to play live, so we had to recruit Angelo, who was a brilliant guitar player, 
mm. and uh, we got him to play some insane flamenco <laughs> uh, madness on on this next track, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, just because he could. Right. Okay. That sounds really good. <laughs> that's the kind of guitarist he is. So yeah, that's. Um, so yeah, jazz. I missed out on that one. He didn't get his royalties. <laughs> <laughs> probably did know him though. Yeah, he probably got all the rest of our royalties. <laughs> <laughs> <didn't he>? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, that sounds good. Well, shall we have another bit of music from you guys? Or yeah. are you ready sure, for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Crystal Community FM 93.2. of innocent reflection Living in the water and the sound I will play my music while you're sleeping You will wake and take me by the hand Time later, frozen by the change inside my head, and all because of you, and all because of you, and all because of you, and all. Sing or stare across the ocean Shout to cry beneath the various skies Walk around in circles till I'm dying Make the shades a custom while I hide I felt was of meaning Colors that would fascinate each time The songs that kept me living in a strange world No longer hold a radiance in my Because of you And all because of you And all because of you And all because of you
why it's absolutely brilliant. Patrick and Alex from Strange Love performing live in the studio on the John Peel Day on the Stephen Roof Show. So, guys, just to sum up um, your thoughts on John Peel, but what how would you, what, what have we got to say about him? He was really, really helpful and important to us as a band, and so we'll ever, you know, forever be grateful for that. Um, felt like you were sort of slightly touched by hand of god or something if peel liked you as a band because it's tough enough trying to get a band off the ground however good you are um and he was just it was just brilliant to get a session from him so yeah that's i suppose he'll always have a sort of special place to us for that i think there's a kind of spirit of music that's not in all music that's made some music's just of its time some music has a spirit and i think john peel was able to feel that I think he knew and understood what loads of different music has in common, which is a kind of spirit running through it. And he could hear that, and that's what he put on his show, and that's what he supported. And that music isn't always commercial, and it isn't always what the everyday person wants to hear, but he heard it, and he put it out there, and he made a stand, you know? He made a kind of stand for what he believed in, I think. And I think that's why he'll live on whereas a lot of other people will rot in their graves and no one will ever speak of them, about them again. <laughs> I think that sums up John Peel. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> thank you both very much indeed for coming in today. It's pleasure. been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. It's been Bye. great to be here, Steve. ECFM is the community radio station for Bristol and is here to give everybody in Bristol